Hello and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these chicken wings on the Blackstone, two ways. One with Alabama white sauce and the other with garlic Parmesan butter. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna prepare the uh, Alabama white sauce with uh, Duke's mayo, uh, paprika, a little bit of salt, pepper, and some uh, vinegar. Start out with the uh, Duke's mail. I'm just gonna guesstimate and say that's about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. Break this down with a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. A pinch of salt. There we go. Add a little bit of uh, cayenne pepper. About half of a teaspoon. And there's my dog barking again. Get some uh, black pepper. Uh, you're gonna use a whole um, teaspoon. Uh, yeah, a teaspoon. I went a little heavy on the uh, cayenne pepper, but I like it real spicy. So this should be good. I'm gonna set this aside. Put it in the refrigerator, let it mellow for a little while before I uh, add it to the wings. But yeah, I, I like the way this is looking. Uh, see you on a bit. All right, folks. Um, it's real easy to um, separate the wings into the uh, flat and the uh, uh, drumette here. All you gotta do is uh, cut uh, between the joints here and then the little wing tip you can just get rid of the wing, wing tip but uh, I go I went uh, ahead and cut all of these up um, uh, and I'm gonna be placing them in a the rack I'll show you a little picture of that here in a bit instead of a picture I'll just show you a, a, a small clip here of the chicken wings on the uh, rack because I'm gonna take these outside to the Blackstone. I'm gonna just season them with just a little bit of uh, salt and uh, pepper. Just a little bit, not too much. And um, after this, we'll get to the Blackstone and um, get that going, heat it up to put these wings on there. Okay, hi. Should be enough for now. Uh, I can reapply seasoning here in a bit once we get to the Blackstone. All right, see you in a bit. So in this mixture, I have melted butter, minced garlic, and some uh, Parmesan cheese. I'm, I'm gonna use this mixture to cook the uh, wings in on the Blackstone. Um, after they're done, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more Parmesan cheese over the wings while it's still hot. But for now, I'm going to set this aside and get the Blackstone ready. I'll see you on a bit. All right, I got the Blackstone heated up. Uh, you might be able to see the smoke coming right off the top there. I'm gonna coat it with a little spray oil. And I'm gonna lay the wings down here in a bit. All right, let me see if I can do this one-handed.
give them all a little space to cook and um, help render the uh, the fat and get them cooked down. I don't have a whole a uh, whole lot, but uh, it's just two of the so shouldn't be too bad. All right, let me get the rest of these on and um, I'll get you back once I flip. All right, got them all on and clean away. I did flip a couple already since uh, got a little bit of color on that one side. It'll be, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes total until I get them all cooked. All right, I give them all one flip they're cooking well they're uh, getting a little bit of color so we've got a way to go one of the things i like about the blackstone me being in a wheelchair it is a uh, very uh, comfortable level for me to work on i can actually reach all the surface area of the blackstone uh, you take full advantage of the entire cooking area. Uh, it's definitely a plus for someone like me. 10, 12 minutes since uh, I put the wings on. And uh, a lot of them have started uh, to temping at 155, 170. Mostly the, the little flat parts. Uh, the bigger drumettes are Thank you, Thomas. And a few that still need a little bit more. Some of these are ready to come off. And it takes that little wing off, that little flap. But these other ones have a few more minutes to go. Uh, after this, we'll start uh, sauce them up. Yeah, these are really getting hot, so I'm going to start putting these off 188 right here on this one. Okay. Yeah, these are pretty much ready to come off. The A ones, I'm going to leave a little bit more. I'm trying to get it to at least 165. Yep, that one's good. Yeah, this is, these three bigger ones are... Oh no, here we go. Yep, yep. These should be ready to come off. Yep, I'm going to start putting these up. Just scraped away all the little bits left on the uh, on the black top here. I'm going to get some of these wings and the um, garlic parmesan butter. Get some uh, flavor on them. Yeah, my uh, black ones gonna need really good clean after this. I'll bring it back in a bit. Okay, this is the, the uh, garlic parmesan butter I, I uh, made earlier. I'm gonna put this over the wings and get some flavor onto it. Oh wow, that is, smells amazing. Instantly, you can see all the little bits of garlic in there. I'm dropping the phone. Ha. There we go. Got
I, when I get these inside, I'll um, put more uh, cheese on top of these. Like okay, I got the wings transferred over to a bowl and I'll uh, put the uh, Alabama white sauce on these and um, get my little toss in this bowl. So I split the wing, wings between these and the uh, garlic butter. Uh, only had 16 wings, so it's gonna be eight and eight. But these are the ones I been uh, willing to uh, want or wanting to try ever since I saw the uh, Alabama, Alabama, Alabama white sauce on um, fire uh, salt pepper fire uh, channel. Big shout out to John. Thanks for the uh, for the recipe. Although I did change it a little bit, I added more cayenne, a little bit more black pepper. But uh, let's see how these turn out. I have two uh, with two of each wing. I left my white sauce on the left, and the garlic parmesan butter on the right. Let's give them a taste. The wings were fantastic. I left my white sauce was uh, spicy. Uh, Nice little tang from the vinegar. Very, very, very tasty. Let's try this one. Ooh, it's hot. All right, I'm gonna have to come back for a, a little bit because these are really, really hot. These wings were fantastic. Great taste combination from the garlic and the Parmesan cheese, the butter, everything was just fantastic make these wings absolutely pop i would definitely want to try these again soon possibly um uh, even fried instead of the uh uh on the blackstone but yeah overall fantastic i forgot to record an outro so i'll just say goodbye here and i'll see you on my next video hopefully coming up soon until then, see y'all later. Goodbye.